I'm not sure why my camera is canceling on me, um, but this next one is floral. There's only one. Generally, I don't like floral smells. And when I'm talking floral, I'm th saying things like gardenia, like, I don't know. That comes to mind because I'm not a fan of it. However, Luna, Jasmine, your girl Jasmine here, sweet pea, freesia, berries, and sandalwood. It's this mix and this, this science that they put behind it that makes me love this smell. So it's sweet and manly and flowery and fruity. It really sits in the fruity family too. This is good. So I don't like floral usually, but for Scentsy, the only one they have under the floral category is Luna and it really isn't 100% floral. This smells amazing. So if you're a floral person and you like that other stuff like gardenia, you're gonna love this stuff. I <laughs> am just not a fan of gardenia. And you know why it is? It's because when I was like, I don't know, 11 or 12 years old, I had a birthday party and one kid gave me this whole gardenia like shower kit for whatever reason back in the late 90s, mid 90s, shower kits were a thing and a fad because they went from being bars to actually shower gel. <laughs> And so they were like a thing and they were always packaged together and I always get gifts because my birthday is March 7th um, around Easter. So I always get bunnies and eggs or something of some sort um, because somebody you know grabs it off of the CVS or Rite Aid shelf. But not that I don't appreciate it. I absolutely appreciate it and I remember my gifts, you see, like so many years later. But I got a gardenia one and I remember there was like a lotion and a shower gel and like a bath bar or something with it and just it took me a really really and it came in a cute basket and it, but it took me a really really long time to use it and I just didn't like it so anyhow bakery bakery would be next um almond croissant if this is also a a okay this one see my daughter my little um handy dandy assistant is not here to put them in order for me so this is what happens okay bakery smells almond croissant it is fresh baked croissant cinnamon sugar and almond almond oh wow that definitely smells like it it's definitely a bakery smell and it's definitely like makes you want to eat it you have this comes with the warning label guys do not eat just warm it up and let your head your home smell heavenly uh this is what i would imagine walking into grandma's home would be so apples and oats this one i'm taking it from over here because it is a new release oh and almond croissant is too it is a new release um oats caramelized apple hints of cinnamon oh and it's so subtle i usually don't like bakery smells because i don't want to have that aroma where I mean, it's really actually pretty pleasant. Cracker Barrel is a great like example of it. I love walking in there because of the aroma and it's bakery. So maybe I should rethink whether or not I actually like bakery smells. But it's very subtle. Like it's not like so in your face. Like there are some smells that you're just like, ugh, that's too much of it. This one I could see burning for a couple of days and I'm not bothered. Apple butter frosting. Okay, this one is cinnamon spice apple and vanilla buttercream. Ooh, sounds like diabetes. But it smells good. And subtle, subtle buttercream and apples. I smell it. I definitely smell it. All right. Apple cherry strudel. Let's put this over here. Apple cherry strudel. Uh, Granny Smith apples, very specific. Cherry and vanilla drizzle. Yes, I smell the apple and the cherry and like a hint of vanilla. Wow. They're like mad scientists over there whatever they're doing keep on doing it sensi because this stuff is amazing and like when i thought i had no i know it all and that some scents are just too overwhelming for me here i am falling in love with bakery scents which i've never been a fan of never been a fan of okay this one's baked apple pie which i love makes me think of thanksgiving i make the best crumble apple pie you guys it's been a while since i made it i need to make it again but flaky crust apples and spices it's so subtle and the spices is actually a little bit stronger than the apples so <sighs> blueberry cheesecake thick rich new york cheesecake graham cracker crust and blueberries oh i was i mean i guess because i just read it out loud but really the blueberries didn't click but it smells like 
blueberry cheesecake. And it's, you know, like a nice cheesecake color. New York cheesecake, and I smell the graham cracker. Wow. I don't know what they're doing over there, but whatever they're doing, the science behind the stuff is on point. Breakfast in bed, I don't see you. New, are you over here? Yes. Breakfast in bed, pumpkin pastry filled with black raspberry, topped with cinnamon drizzle. I smell the pumpkin. I smell a hint of black raspberry and I definitely smell the cinnamon drizzle and it's not an overpowering cinnamon, like straight up cinnamon, so that definitely I can smell it. And that smells good. I mean, this actually belongs, breakfast in bed should be in the spice family. Um, but I do smell the sweetness, so maybe that's why it's in the bakery. Brownie batter, we are looking at brownie batter. Baked brownie, cocoa powder, vanilla bean. Oh, that's really strong, guys. Break, baked brownie. Like, baked brownie. I, if you like it, you may like it. It smells like, like brownie chapstick, you know? Like lip smacker, maybe even a little like root beer, um, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star. <laughs> you might really like it. it. It's not so brownie as it is like root beer. Um, but it's not, I, I keep coming back to it, so it's not unpleasant. But definitely, like, it has that root beer, more root beer than brownie, I would call it. So, all right. Butter pecan, candy pecan maple butter. Oh, that sounds smells. This is the maple I smell with the like nutty pecan flavor. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely a bakery smell. It smells great. Um, if you want that aroma in your house when it's Thanksgiving dinner and and Christmas supper, you guys think about it. Think about it because it's coming and you're gonna want to have this stuff before it sells out. All of this right here, all the bakery scents are definitely going to be a huge um, selling point for get that homey vibe when your college kids are home and your family's there. Okay, this next one is Hug in a Mug. Hug in a Mug. It's a bestseller. It's chocolate hazelnut cookie dough. Very subtle. I was really expecting like that that root beer one that we just tried earlier, but this is this is very very nice. Chocolate hazelnut and cookie dough. Um, it smells like grandma just baked cookies not too long ago and that they're sitting by the oven just cooling down and you're waiting impatiently to eat those cookies that's what it smells like it smells good hug in a mug and i get it hug in a mug you know so it's good grandma vibes i love it not that it's a grandma smell but it's definitely a grandma vibe it makes you think of just the good old memories from what, being a kid <clears throat> Let's do pumpkin roll before my battery completely dies out because I see it flashing over there. Pumpkin roll, pumpkin pie, yellow cake, pecans, butter, and spice. Oh, it's very subtle. I was expecting a very strong pumpkin, but it's not. It's, it's, I think the yellow cake is like the main, <clears throat> and then you have the pecans, the spice, and the butter. Um, so yeah, let's see the turtles, guys. Um, so that's actually really, really nice. Um, okay, Stroop Waffle Delight. Stroop Waffle Delight. This is vanilla melted butter and cinnamon. This is like Cracker Barrel vibes. I like it. The vanilla is stronger. And then it has that hint of cinnamon to really make it a tolerable bakery smell. Um, because too much vanilla or all vanilla is not the greatest. Sugar cookie. Butter, sugar, creamy vanilla. I'm not smelling it guys. Maybe I need like some beans, like coffee beans. Um, it's very, very subtle. It's not strong at all. Um, but I guess sugar cookies not either. Very, very subtle. Maybe when it's warm on a wax warmer, the aroma is different. But maybe this is